Hey guys, Jordan here. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about bracketed shots for real estate photography. So let's get into it. All right. So if you're new to real estate photography, or if that's a topic you're looking to learn about, make sure to subscribe as that's what I talk about on this channel. This video comes from a comment I got on one of my job shadow videos. This one is how to shoot real estate photography and Ed, uh, asks, Thanks, Ed, for your question. Are you shooting three bracketed HDRs? Uh, and are you shooting one stop over, one stop under, and a normal exposure, right? So yes, I typically shoot three, uh, three exposure, a three exposure bracket, but I, um, I found that negative one and plus one, which is the single stops, isn't enough um, for real estate, right? Because if you're on the, doing the interior of a property, um, even if you go down one, it's not going to give you much additional information in the window. So, um, the bracket settings that I like to use is negative three and then a plus three on the bright shot to get information in the shadows. And then you blend those three. So negative three, zero, plus three, then you blend those three together and you get some pretty good dynamic range. Now I've tested five, seven, nine, and with HDR, you start to kind of lose a bit. Um, I mean, there's pros and cons to different things, but de de depending on the style of photography that you're looking for, I, I like more of a, a natural um, shot. I will mention that bracketed photos is more uh, necessary on the interiors. Now, sometimes you're outside, depending on where the sun's at, you might have a blown out sky. So you might need bracketed shots out there as well. But a lot of times if you're shooting in the middle of the day, the sun's up, up high, um, you can get away with a single exposure on the outside because um, you're not missing any uh, information outside of a window or in the shadows. And as long as you're shooting raw, right? And I shoot with Sony, but uh, the newer Canons and the Nikons as well, they perform well where they have a lot of information if you're shooting raw in the shadows and the highlights. Um, so many times, you know, if you're trying to get an exterior shot, you can get away with a single exposure. Uh, brackets typically on the inside, not always. It also depends on the time of day as well. Um, so anyways, to answer your question, yes, negative three, zero plus three. All right, that's gonna do it for this video. If you got value, hit the like button. We'll see you guys on the next one.